Welcome back to the podcast where we ask the question, what makes you happy? My name is Jake Pearson and our guest today is a unique and talented musician who creates music from the heart, breaking free from the constraints of genre. He believes in the endless possibilities of music and finds true success in the inner peace it brings rather than in monetary measures. Our guest is guided by passion and instinct and is convinced that the answers to life are available to everyone waiting to be discovered. Please welcome Duncan Moss from Central London. Duncan, it is a pleasure to have you today. How are you? Really good, Jake. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Cheers. It's super great to uh, finally get to sit down and record. We've had some technical difficulties, which do happen. And I was just admiring your studio for everyone who is watching this on video. It looks incredible to just look at. I'm kind of like trying not to get distracted. I want to focus on you, but I'm like, oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, very good. So Duncan, would you would you mind starting with what does make you happy? The first thing is my family and my friends. Um, I'm a big family man. I've been married for 37 years, uh, which to some people is like a miracle. It probably is to me, actually. Um, I've got three grown up grandchildren. I was blessed a couple of years ago with our first grandchild. And they, I mean, we have lots of banter. You know, I'm like the family joke, so there's plenty of banter going on all the time. We're in touch and it's great fun. So family first, my friends, I've got a lot of lovely friends, which, you know, I consider a real blessing. Um, and you support them, they support you. And really, I suppose music is, is you know, the second thing that really makes me happy. I love writing. Sometimes it's frustrating, but it's always fun. And I enjoy it because, again, it's your, you write something and then you want to play it to other people. And if it gives them joy, I mean, I get lots of comments back which blow me away from people saying, oh, you know, that made me feel really good or I'm suffering from stress or whatever. And I listen to your music and it made me really happy and relaxed. I can't think of a, of a better thing to make you happy. It makes me very happy. And I was just envisioning, I was on my way home before, just absolutely going off to a random song and I was just having the best time just dancing, moving, singing, and I was like, how can music not make anyone happy? You know, one know. song, Three. one piece of music, it can just turn your whole day around, your whole mood around. It's incredible. Sure. But Duncan, what would your advice be to, to those who haven't found the thing that makes them happy and where should they try to start? The first thing I'd say, and I've got an album that's going to be coming out next year called Stages of Life. And one of the, the lines that I've used and narrated in it is um, smile a lot. Because of your smile, you make life more beautiful. Now, it really, it's still, even though I wrote it, it still resonates because if you walk down the street and you smile at somebody, yeah, maybe four people will think you're mad. Someone will think you're a nutter, but the other five will smile back. Now, they may smile at the next person. And they're sharing some joy. So I would say my first bit of advice would be smile a lot. And if you kind of, you change your perception, your experience changes. So you have to feel happy. You can't go and say, I'm going to find happiness. It's a case of a, it's a, it's like a, a state of positivity. And if you have that, then it absolutely resonates with a lot of other people. So that would be the first one. I really love that because something I try to do, Duncan, when I walk through the shopping centers, it's very easy to be on my way out with my groceries, looking at my phone. I like to look at the, the people sitting on the chairs, you know, waiting for someone. And I just give them a quick smile. And when they smile back, I feel amazing. I'm like, that is such an empowering feeling. I feel great. That's something that you could try if you're a listener sure. on your next journey to the shops. Just make it a point to smile at someone before you walk out of the supermarket and, and see how that changes your, your mood and, and impacts your day. Don't you agree? Absolutely. And it, yeah, I do totally. And if you want to, you know, if you want to feel a bit of happiness, it doesn't have to cost anything. You could, I don't know, go to a railway station or go to an airport. You've only got to look at people meeting you who are looking forward to seeing each other. It's pure joy. It is pure joy. That will make you feel good. 
Yeah, it is. And it, it takes a, a bit to get there. But you've got plenty of episodes if you're a listener to go back and listen to plenty of different perspectives on ways that you can bring yourself into that state of mind. Duncan, thank you for contributing to what makes you happy. We really appreciate your time here today to share all things that make you happy and that beautiful piece of advice. Thanks for listening to the podcast. We hope it gives you something to think about on your quest to discover what makes you happy. Make sure to check out whatmakesyouhappypodcast.com to connect with today's guest and follow us on all our social media platforms and to stay up to date at what's happening next and what makes you happy. Don't forget to share this episode with a friend and we'll see you next time.